Welcome, Rangers fans, to uh, kind of an unusual coaches show, if you will. We're going to devote just a few minutes to talk about an upcoming event that will impact all of our sports here at Smithson Valley High School over the next two years. As many of you know, every two years, the UIL realigns schools into districts, uh, into classifications. And uh, while the remainder of this school year, everything is set just as, it, just as it's been, uh, we will find out on February 3rd what our fate is for the next two school years, beginning in the fall of 22. As many of you know, with the opening of Piper High School, our, our, our enrollment here has declined uh, to the point to where uh, Smithson Valley High School, for the first time in years and years, uh, will be a 5A school. We will actually be in the second highest classification. As many of you know, over the last 20 years, I think 18 of those years, we've been in the highest classification. So. Uh, shifting gears, you know, we've been with Judson and Steele and Clemens and New Braunfels and uh, Wagner and East Central and people like that now for a long time. Prior to that, we were in with the Northeast schools, you know, Reagan, Madison, Churchill, et cetera. So uh, for the first time in a long time, we will be playing new opponents. Uh, we do know that we've moved to 5A. You, the way that process works, you turn in your enrollment. Uh, based on your enrollment in, at the end of October and in December, they come out with a little bit of information. They come out and they tell you, yes, you are 5A or yes, you are 6A or 4A or whatever you are. So we have been told uh, that it's official. We will be a 5A school. Now, um, you know, the closely guarded secret, uh, kind of right there with the uh, Kennedy assassination files, you know, that no one ever seems to know, what, is, what are we going to be told on February 3rd? So the purpose of this show is to uh, uh, get some particulars out there, some possibilities, and then, of course, next week we'll know a little bit more for certain, of course. First of all, moving to 5A, they do things a little bit different than in 6A. 6A, all of our sports, uh, with the exception of wrestling, are all in the same district. In other words, our volleyball team competes with the exact schools that softball does, or men's basketball, football, cross-country golf, just name a sport. We're all in the same league. That is not how 5A does it. 5A divides their football schools into 5A Division I and 5A Division II, and those are totally separate classifications. Never the two shall meet. Uh, with our enrollment, we will be in 5A Division I for football. Every other sport other than football is simply 5A. They only do the Division I, II split in football, so all of our other 12 varsity sports other than football will be in a common league. Uh, football, as I mentioned, will be in a Division I league. And, um, you know, with that being one of the first sports up in the year and that being an unusual configuration, there's a lot of questions. Well, who might be then in this 5A Division I football league? There are about 11, 12 schools in the greater San Antonio area and surrounding. I mean, you go as far north to Hayes and Lehman High School, those are possibilities. Our sister school, school of Canyon, of course, will be 5A Division I, so we will play them. Seguin is another Division I school. Bernie Champion, just a little bit to our west, uh, is a Division I school. We could possibly be in with them. Moving into town, you have MacArthur, who's moving from 6A, like us and Wagner, who's moving from 6A like us. Those are 5A Division I. South Sand, formerly a 6A school, they've moved down. They're 5A Division I. Both Southwest High School, Southwest High School and Southwest Legacy are both 5A Division I. Medina Valley out on the western edge, they're 5A Division I. So I've rattled off 10, 11, 12 schools there. We likely will not be in with all of those, but you would think among them, uh, some of those at least, would be in with Smithson Valley and Canyon. So that's kind of what we're anticipating on February 3rd. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the other issue with football is uh, that is the northern, the northern tip of Region 4 or the southern tip of Region 3. So there's also that bit of uh, interesting uh, drama, if you will. What region would we actually be in? Okay, Once they put us in a district, would we be in Region 3 and kind of heading towards Leander, Pflugerville, and on into Houston for our playoff route if we're fortunate enough to be there? Or would we go into San Antonio and play south into Region 4, which in football in the past, that's what we've done. So all of that's uh, TBA. Uh, there are a lot of theories out there of how it'll go down. That's all they are is theories. Uh, the UIL does a tremendous job of keeping that under cloak and dagger. 
So uh, your guess is as good as mine. We'll find out, I guess, here in about eight days. Um, our other sports, our 12 remaining sports, will simply be, as I mentioned earlier, they'll simply be 5A. Uh, be no Division One and Two. So um, likely, you know, we that league will look tr uh, tremendously different than our football league. Uh, we, by, by UIL rule, we will have to be in with our sister schools, Canyon and Piper High School. We won't play Piper in football. They're going to be, they have Division II enrollment, but all of our other sports will play us, Canyon and, and Piper. Uh, of course, Bernie Champion we mentioned, but Kerrville and Alamo Heights and some of these that are Division II in football, they're in play here, so to speak, uh, with our other sports. So uh, Wagner, uh, Judson Veterans Memorial, again, we mentioned MacArthur, Seguin, Lehman, and Hayes earlier. Um, again, we mentioned South San, Medina Valley, the two Southwest schools, even all the San Antonio ISD schools, so the two Edgewood schools, Kennedy and Memorial. So there's quite a number of 5A uh, schools. Again, we cannot be in with all of those, but I just rattled off probably 15, 18 of them there. We likely will be grouped with those for all of our sports other than football. So it's a little bit shifting gears from what we're used to. Uh, football will have a different schedule and a different set of opponents than our other sports. We'll find all that out on Thursday, February 3rd at 9 a.m. In, uh, in the morning, 9 a.m. And uh, that is available online at the UIL website. So Ranger fans who obviously won't be privy to the results that they hand us hard copies and booklets about, they can go to the UIL website a little bit before 9 and they release it at 9 a.m. And uh, you'll know as quickly as I know and all the other coaches know. And then very quickly thereafter, uh, we will tape another one of these shows and we will talk about our football district, our district for the other uh, sports. We will by then know the order of play. Yes, we play Canyon in the first year it's at home or, the, or on the road or, you know, volleyball opens with Bernie Champion, for instance, at, uh, on the road. We, We'll be able to lay all that out for you and talk about uh, non-district schedules and who else we might be playing in the fall sports at least and uh, just give the Ranger fans an update. Realignment day, big day, mystery day, uh, Thursday, February 3rd. Uh, but that's all I know for now. You know everything I know. We'll find out next week what's real. Go Rangers.